I'm Wes from Recommended Playing. Welcome to Rumor Wrecker, where we find answers to questions nobody ever asked. Today's mildly interesting topic is figuring out whether or not mixed juices will lock you out of the Pure Wall Memorial Cup achievement in Dead Rising 2 off the record. The necessary background information once again. Pure Wall Memorial Cup requires you to remain a non-alcoholic vegan until the military arrives. This means that you can't drink any alcohol or consume any meat or dairy. In practical terms, this means fruits only. The easiest way is specifically orange juice. I'm getting flashbacks to Colombian Roastmasters. Next is that Frank can mix two healing items in a blender to create a mixed juice. A lot of the mixed juices can be blended using alcohol, meat, and dairy. So the question is, if we blend a juice with alcohol, meat, or dairy and drink it, will it lock us out of Pure Wall Memorial Cup? Let's find out. Starting a new game on a new profile to ensure no shenanigans. I want to make this as easy on myself as possible, starting in sandbox mode to grind some easy levels and get some b-roll. Started off using the slice cycle until about 5,000 zombie kills. After that, I just resorted to grabbing vodka off the shelf in the food court for a while. Now we're going into 72 hour mode to get to the meat of this vegan trophy. Dead Rising 2 off the record's intro is actually super long. Now that we can actually play the game, it's exclusively orange juice to heal. This is to ensure Pure Wall Memorial Cup will unlock. On instinct, I grabbed the orange juice and milk from the security room. Milk will kill this run, so I made sure to discard it safely. Rescue Denise, collect the Zombrex, and stock up on orange juice and Roysmart. This is one of the only places to stock up on our only healing item for the run. Now there's actually nothing we care about doing until the first set of cases. Time to wait in the safe house until Frank needs his Zombrex, then keep waiting until alive on location. Sullivan gives us the maintenance key on the way out. This is important mostly because we need $1 million for the main story and hacking ATMs with the money hacker will get us the money very quickly. You can make a money hacker in the first safe room with a computer case and a flashlight. Then I go the long way around to the Fortune City Hotel. The Silver Strip has two sets of double ATMs that I can hack for $80,000. There's a stockpile of orange juice at the Pub of Gold, and we can hit that up before heading down to the hotel. There's a few security box keys you can grab throughout the run. These are for bonus cash and Zombrex. Into the hotel to meet the beautiful Becky. You gotta watch that cutscene, and then you can head back to the safe house. Before I finished Alliance, I grinded most of the cash by doing runs in the Silver Strip with money hackers. Back to the security room to finish the case. Inside the safe house, you can grab a Zombrex on the roof behind the elevator. This one's free and easy. Now to wait for case 2-1. It's off to Uranus Zone after an eternity of waiting. In Uranus Zone, quick trip to the bank and use up all the security box keys for cash and Zombrex. We're set for this playthrough. Now to fight Brandon. Shaggy over here always comes from behind, but he's no match for a pole weapon. Snag his cash and head back to Stacy. Then it's immediately off to the Palisades for Ticket to Ride. One more Zombrex for the road and then it's waiting for case 4-1. Frank needs a Zombrex in between waiting. Run for the money is not hard, you just take a lot of damage, so you need to make sure you have a lot of OJ on hand to heal. Otherwise it's done and then there's more waiting around. Change of scenery this time to the lights above Benny Jack's barbecue shack. And more waiting. We get some news that we need to give TK $1 million. Okay. Head out to the Yucatan and grab an LMG. After an eternity of waiting it's time to take out the twins. And then we can immediately head off to TK's helicopter to take it out with a literal toy. There's even more waiting and more Zombrex. I'll finally explain my grand scheme here. I'm at the goal at this point. I know I've used nothing but orange juice to heal. The military is almost here, it's just a couple hours away. Pure Wall Memorial Cup is in the bag. Now it's time that we potentially ruin it. I currently have two theories on how mixed juices work. The first theory is that it's just a binary distinction. All mixed juices either count as alcohol, meat, or dairy, and are not allowed to be used for Pure Wall Memorial Cup, or they aren't considered alcohol or animal products, and therefore vegan, and can be used during Pure Wall Memorial Cup. My second and working theory is that every drink you make has a memory of what you made it with. We're going to make a couple of drinks with different parameters to test this. Then we're going to consume a drink and see if we get the Pure Wall Memorial Cup trophy. If we don't, 
then we reload the save and try again with the next drink in line. Then if none of them work, we'll run the final test of drinking exclusively orange juice as the control. Once Purewall Memorial Cup unlocks for any reason, the testing is over. The first drink we're going to make is a painkiller. We're going to mix two vodkas together for this one. This is made from alcohol and should lock us out of the achievement if we consume it. That is, unless mixed juices are exempt from the restrictions of Purewall Memorial Cup. Next up is a nectar. This is going to be made with two orange juices. This should, in theory, let us get the achievement, unless mixed juices are explicitly a no-go for Purewall Memorial Cup. Finally is a Spitfire, which I mixed with ketchup and mustard. Oddly enough, two non-food items that cannot be consumed. Should be okay. Up at the roof of Royal Flush Plaza now and slurping down that sweet, sweet painkiller made from two bottles of vodka and it's time for just a little more waiting around. The military arrives and drum roll. Hey, look at that, it worked. Pure Wall Memorial Cup unlocked. That was with a vodka vodka. So that should mean that all mixed juices do not count as alcohol, meat, or dairy, regardless of what you made them from. Seems theory one was correct after all. Rumor status, wrecked. You can absolutely drink all the mixed juices you want and still unlock the Pure Wall Memorial Cup achievement. At least, as long as they're painkillers. It's probably safe to say that all the other juices are exempt from this as well, but you know, you're on your own for that one. Use your own discretion and drink responsibly. I am not willing to do another run of each of the individual juices to test. That would just be crazy. Now the question is, do you really need to drink mixed juices during a Pure Wall Memorial Cup playthrough? I'm definitely going to be on the better safe than sorry end of this. Just stick with orange juice. Pure Wall Memorial Cup is best tied with Alpha vs Omega anyways for OTR achievement hunting. In this scenario, orange juices will be used to heal both yourself as well as Denise. You realistically won't need anything stronger than orange juice for psychopath battles if you're going for all the achievements. Some mildly interesting trivia, I suppose. Those Vancouver boys really need to get some education though. First, Darkest Dungeons all like, blocks 100% of stress damage, but it only means 80%. Now Capcom Vancouver's out here saying you can mix two bottles of vodka in a blender and it's considered non-alcoholic. These are the people I share a city with. Thanks for watching and hopefully this was marginally interesting and enlightening. Special thank you to my Patreon supporters, your support goes a long way for this channel. You can check out the Dead Rising playlist for much more Dead Rising content and the slowly expanding Rumor Wrecker playlist if you're into that kind of thing. Thanks for watching.